Um, some people told me that uh, Tesla is uh, doing a very big push for the fourth quarter for deliveries, and I believe it's true. And uh, on that note, someone told me that uh, Tesla had moved all of the cars for delivery uh, in the Toronto area to somewhere closer to the airport. And they said, if you go around back, you're gonna see a lot of Tesla. So I figured, eh, let's come out and check it out. And uh, look how many cars there are here. Look at this. There's a car carrier dropping off a bunch of Model X's. And I mean, it, it's just full of cars in this lot. Now, there's no Model 3s, because they're not available in Canada yet. But, look, there's another car carrier right here. I'd say the lot right now is probably three quarters, yeah, three quarters or more of Model X. And just like the US, we Canadians love our SUVs. Look at them all. And there's more arriving daily. Look at that, they're still unloading. Still loading a model. Oh, that's a Model X coming off the carrier there. See that? Wow. A lot of white, too. Some black. Lots of cars. Huh. I guess they were right. A lot of cars here. Oh, look. Somebody's getting a brand new Model X red and it says uh, Tesla delivery event so I guess they weren't fooling this is really where the uh, deliveries are happening I think uh, maybe we can go in and crash the party let's see if we can get some pictures inside I don't know if they'll let me in but we're gonna try it anyways nice car guys okay let's see let's see if we can crash the party How are you? Good, yourself? Good. I come to crash the party. Yeah, sounds good. Do you have an appointment for today? Hmm, I don't know. Can I take video or not? So Tim here was really, really kind enough to let me sneak in and, and, and take a look at the cars. Yeah, so I'll show you around here. This is kind of our delivery event. Oh, this, this is really cool. A big error for us to have. We sold so many cars this quarter. To yeah. Of our cars. Fourth quarter, right? Push, yeah, big, exactly. Big, big push for the fourth quarter. So of course, this is where wow, we show off the cars all, to the new owners. Look at all these cars, man. Yeah, so of course you got Model S, Model X is going out. Yeah. Hopefully in the future some Model 3s as well. Yes, Model 3 is going to be huge, man. Exactly, that'd be yeah. incredible. Our followers are all waiting for Model 3. Yeah. This is really cool. Look at all these cars. And we have everything here too. So we have service in the back. We have uh -huh. detailing in the back. Right. Uh, there's more cars outside that just came I in. I figured you'd have a place to detail because they're all covered in snow and schmutz outside. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we had to do it inside. That's cool. And they were nice enough to give us another actually building for us. Wow, then, so. that's really nice of you, Tim. Absolutely. Attend. Thanks for letting me in. Yeah, of course. It's really cool. Wow, look at all these cars. All right, so uh, a year ago, uh, when I was on vacation, I stopped at the great folks at EvanX, and they gave me this very first Model X Hot Wheels toy. And I thought, oh, that'd be really cool. But guess what? That's my car. It's true. I bought a Model X. This is my car. Take a good look at her, folks. This is a 75D with the six seat interior and the ultra white of course because it's not a Tesla without it and I just got my key fob let's see if it works oh sweet Jesus oh look at this oh my gosh oh my gosh sorry for trolling you folks but this is the I wanted to keep this a secret for you uh, from you for as long as possible but uh, yeah, she's arrived. Wow. All right, we'll do a tour here in a second. So I'm sitting here in the lounge. I just finished the paperwork, went by really fast, and they're uh, just waiting for my orientation person to come. I haven't seen the car yet, so uh, I got butterflies. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this is a big day. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm sure a lot of you will feel the same way when you get your Model 3 or whatever Tesla you decide to do. Uh, this is this is a big deal. So I'm just kind of waiting, just kind of waiting to see what happens and see what the process is. So I'm going to try and drink it all in and uh, take you and, and show you as much as I can that they allow me for this process. 
and um, you get to live vicariously through me for your delivery experience. The other thing I'll mention too is that um, uh, I'm going to do some content with the Model X on my channel. Um, it's it's not to uh, to show off or anything like that, but I'm hoping that what I go through as a new owner will help you when you get your car so that you can uh, learn from my mistakes because let's face it, we're all going to make mistakes and stuff. Um, and the other thing too is I'm taking delivery in the middle of winter. I wasn't really hoping on doing that. I was hoping maybe to enjoy the car more, say sometime in the summertime. But my friend Nick told me that if you take delivery in the wintertime, you get to experience the car in its worst environment, which is of course the winter. So I thought, yeah, you know, maybe you got a point with that. So. We'll see how things go, but um, anyways, uh, when we see the car, make sure you take a good look at it because it's the last time you're going to see it that's going to be this clean, at least for a few months. So uh, stay tuned. Honest, I love the Model S right now. That's one I'm. You really, you really like the Model S. I do S, right? love the Model S. To me, just it's the flagship. It's kind of what kind I of have a love affair with all of the Teslas. I do, and I'm pretty excited for the Model Three. I've yet to see one. We, when you, honest. you know what, the old cliche, and I've said this many times on the channel too that the car looks better in person than it does in pictures. Any of the Teslas are the same way, but the Model 3, I remember when I first saw it, my jaw just hit the floor. It's a gorgeous car. And that's an interesting proposal because it looks pretty good in pictures. So yeah, that yeah. Means but when you, yeah, you'll understand when you see it. I know it sounds a little cliched, but it does look better. Anyhow, Absolutely. here's a little tour, folks. It is, like I said, it's a 75D. It has the ultra white interior because it is a Tesla and hey, why not, right? Um, I opted for this six seat interior. Um, mainly because this was an inventory car. I, I really wanted to order the five, maybe the seven seat. The six seat, I just felt as nice as it is and as what I wanted was out of my budget. But at this point, because I ordered inventory, I didn't have a choice. So I just splurged and got the six seat interior. And of course, here's the back. Now we just did the pre-delivery inspection on the car. We went every over every inch of the car and I haven't found any flaws, so if you hear any stories about Model X not being uh, quality, uh, well, mine is really good. And in the front here, I have, you know, the sunshade, my my license plate. Now, I didn't opt to put the license plate in the front yet because I'm going to get one of those uh, ones that clip into the bottom because they told me if they put the license plate frame on the front, they're going to drill into the front, and that's a no-no in my books. I don't want to see that, so I'll uh, I'll take my chances with the cops. Uh, until I get my license plate cover, <laughs> I'll get that sorted out. Anyhow, so uh, there you go. We're uh, we're just about uh, ready to go, I think. All right, so here's my car. She's all ready to go. We've got 82%. Uh, um, but as we all know, one of the most important decisions about a Tesla is what are you going to name your car? So I, I was thinking about this for some time. I wasn't too sure. I was originally thinking maybe um, because this car looks so much like a stormtrooper, I figured maybe I'd do a Star Wars reference like uh, TK420. If you're a Star Wars fan, you'd understand what that is. But that's a mouthful and I can't do that. So I thought, well, what else am I going to call this car? So, you know what? I think I got the right name for this car. I'm going to call this one White White Knight. I think that's pretty fitting. What do you think? If you don't like it, tell me in the comments. But hey, it's my car. I can name it whatever I want. Brand new Model X. This is my first drive. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. This is a, a, a pretty big day. And um, I'm sorry if you uh, thought that I was trolling you and stuff, but I thought I might as well have a little bit of fun. Anyhow, uh, like I said, get used to, 
get used to seeing this car a little bit more on the channel. Uh, we'll do a little bit of content here and there. It's not all, it's not the Model X Owners Club anymore. It's still Model 3 Owners Club. But um, anyhow, I'll talk a little bit more. Let's just get going here and I'll explain to you what is going on. And get the windshield wipers going. It's gonna take me a few days to kind of get used to the car a little bit and set everything up. I have a driver. Proceed pool. to the highlighted route. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to cancel that. I will say this, the uh, Tesla delivery experience is like nothing you've ever seen before. It's absolutely no pressure, it's informative. My delivery specialist uh, was uh, a young fellow named Tim. You saw him on the video. Thanks, Tim, if you're watching the video, you're a great guy. Um, I did an abbreviated one. I spent most of my time actually going over the um, uh, checklist for the car uh, to make sure that there was no dings or scratches or anything like that. Um, I didn't really need much of a, a delivery process on the Model X because I'm already familiar with the car quite a bit because, you know, most of the Teslas are all the same. Oh, this is nice. The visibility of this windshield is something to behold. Oh, she has some good pickup. Oh, I like that. Okay. Won't be doing too much of that yet because I'm not quite familiar with the car. Anyhow, uh, the paperwork process is, is pretty straightforward. It's like most other cars. You just, you know, make sure you go down your list. Make sure everything is, uh, the T's are, are crossed and your I's are dotted. And make sure that's all good that way. Um, I'm not seeing anything as autopilot on my car here because I believe that this is still too new and we're going to see uh, some calibration process happening. So I won't be able to use autopilot quite yet. Now, some of you are probably wondering, why did I choose this color and this configuration on the Model X? Well, let me go back a little bit and just explain my decision to buy a Model X. Um, it really boils down to three things. Wants, needs, and opportunity. Now on the want side, I have always loved the Model X. I think it's a really fantastic car. It's got a lot of tech in it. Um, I have a bit of a guilty pleasure because I've been driving SUVs for years. I really like them. So for me, sitting up higher off of the ground is, is kind of important. Uh, my wife, who you, you'll see her on the channel probably a little bit more now that we have the car. Um, her biggest complaint with a Model S, for example, was just, she just felt it was too low. It was difficult for her to get in and out of the car comfortably. And she's been driving my SUV, so she likes that. The other one is really has to do with needs. Now, I know that I've been a big proponent of the Model 3, and I still am. I still think it's a fantastic car. I still have my reservation. Uh, we'll see what that brings. Um, and that brings me to you know the third part here. I'll talk about that in a second. But in my case, it was <clears throat> really looking at what are my needs and after experiencing the Model 3 and seeing it in person and seeing the other cars, I felt that I needed more cargo space. Um, I transport some computers. I had a big photocopier in my SUV like two weeks ago. Uh, that kind of stuff would be challenging in a Model 3. So I felt that I need a little bit more room. Yes, a Model S has that too, but the Model X is just even uh, more in some circumstances, plus it's a little higher up off the ground. The other thing too is my wife and I, when we travel, we don't tend to pack very lightly. We bring a lot of stuff, food and, and you know multiple bags and all this other stuff. So I really felt that we needed something that had uh, some more space. And the last part too was uh, we have bicycles and I didn't want to put a bike rack on top of my car and really uh, chew up the range. So I decided that we really should get something that has an official towing capacity. Um, not so much for towing, but being able to put a bike rack on the back of the car. So that's why I decided that maybe the Model X would fit my needs a little better for that. The last part really has to do with opportunity. You know, being in Canada and knowing that the Model 3 is going to be probably another year away, I just felt that it was just too long for me to wait because my lease is ending um, in the spring. And as it turns out, I, could take, I, I was able to take it back early without any penalty. So that helped a little bit too. Uh, but the most important part too is that if I was going to get into a Model X and actually spend a lot more money than say a Model 3, um, I was kind of counting on getting the rebate. And in Ontario, there's a very strong chance that our rebate will change come January 1st and actually be severely reduced or completely eliminated um, on the higher end Tesla. So I just couldn't leave that kind of money on the table. So I decided uh, instead of waiting until January or February to order a custom uh, Model X that I decided to look at what was available in inventory and that's when I ran across this car. Now, it had everything I wanted. It had the color, uh, the interior. I really wanted a five seat or I was maybe willing to splurge, maybe go to a seven seat. This one came in and it was six seat. Uh, so all I did was 
Uh, I decided what the heck, I only live once, so I ordered it that way. The only other thing I didn't get in the car that I really wanted was uh, the car with the carbon fiber interior, uh, or the trim, I should say. So my only real quibbles about the Model X is uh, the fact that I didn't get the carbon fiber that I wanted, but, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. And the other thing, too, is the mirror. <laughs> the mirror on the Teslas, they're really small. They're frameless. They're really quite nice. But it's so tiny. Um, I'm looking at it right now, and I can see at the back of the car, but the spoiler is kind of in the way. I can see, you know, the two back seats are up. So it kind of limits the back. But the nice thing is, is, of course, I can turn on the uh, camera, the, back, the rear view camera, and uh, I can see out the back if I want. Uh, on a day like today where it's kind of overcast and raining and snowing, I don't expect to be able to see much out the back, but... Hey, it is what it is. So we just pulled in to the uh, supercharging station here at Vaughn Mills, brand new. There's like 20 stalls. We don't know if it's live yet. They've got the new signage, so we're going to see if we can charge. Oh, she's stiff. Man, it's cool. All right. Nick, grab that, will you? I don't know if this is going to work. Man, this thing is... Eh, not getting anything. It's not live yet. No, she's not live yet. 